Warren, and uh, I'm 33 years old. You know, see, I look like it, but <laughs> shocker. Um, and you know, when this project came about, uh, I kind of knew right away that you know this is what I wanted to do. Uh, I think you know, growing up as a kid, I mean, when I was five years old, uh, I love art. You know, I. I grew up wanting to become a comic book artist, and, and uh, I, you know, spent high school and, and four years of uh, college coming out of high school uh, wanting to become, uh, you know, a comic book artist or some sort of animations. Uh, you know, life took a different turn, and, uh, you know, I kind of lost touch of that. Uh, so right now, you know, coming back to school to um, become a photographer, uh, I kind of see some similarities between art and photography, and I... Uh, wanted to do this project as, as kind of like a mixture with uh, photography and what and my passion for comic book and, and art. Um, so, you know, uh, these images when I was creating it, uh, it was just more of where, you know, I grew up reading the comic books, I see these characters and, you know, they have an identity to the character that they play. Um, so, you know, for example, like the Joker, you know, um, you know, it was really a person uh, behind that character. And, and when I took these images, I wanted to show uh, their true identity in the form of like a comic book panel. Uh, and, you know, I, I, you know, went into Photoshop and I turned them into kind of like that art uh, drawn type of feel to it. Uh, and I think it works really well. Uh, and I think one of my inspiration for you know creating the lighting pattern was uh, from well it took a little bit from Marn Scholler, which Tim had suggested me for me to kind of research. Uh, and if you haven't seen uh, Marn Scholler's work, he uh, takes celebrities and they you know it's just kind of real simple lighting, but he had these keno flows and he created a really nice catch light in their eyes. And and I think what I like about his work too is that. Um, you know, these are celebrities that he's taking pictures of, but in the sense that, you know, their emotion or their personality doesn't reflect who they are when we see, as we see them on TV. Uh, so, I mean, part of me going into this was to kind of capture, uh, the, one, the character that I'm trying to portray as, as the character that we're dressed up for, uh, and then also, you know, just uh, who they are as, uh, as the person outside of, you know, what they are behind their costume and their makeup and their mask. Um, and that's you know, pretty much my project. What do you think? Yeah. Underachiever, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. That's all right. You need to see this one. This is the final six. This presentation here is actually the final six for the lighting people class. So these are all different presentations. They have a, an assignment where they're supposed to create six images. This is one of the presentations. Hopefully it's not adding to the anxiety. So. No, no, no. He's the last one. He's, over. He's, he's almost done sweating. <laughs> yeah, and I actually brought um, one of my models with me. Um, you know, Brittany, can you come on up? Uh, she actually helped me with uh, makeup work for, uh, you know, the Joker, uh, which was played by Chris. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I thank you both for being here today. All right, so I need some comments from you about what do you think about what he did, the concept, how well he executed it or not. I think that um, explaining it in the comic book type thing, uh, it, really, it really just like pulls it all together. I mean, we would have got it even if it was print, but uh, I think that just made it a lot more cool. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And we talked multiple times today about presentation, how it affects how people view it. Um, you produced, and also the intimacy of actually touching it, turning the pages, it brings you back to exactly where he wanted to be. Yeah. Since it, was it like LT when you went down to Comic Con or something? You shot all. Yeah, it was Warner Con. Yeah. yeah, you've been psyched on that since I've pretty much known you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just doing stuff revolving around that. And that's awesome. And I think it's great too because you know when during that time, I mean, I didn't really know studio lighting, so I was just out there, you know, like one of the fanboys, and I was just taking pictures as I find them. And uh, this time, I, I was able to kind of control what I wanted to do and, and not make it feel like it's just a snapshot sure. of them in the costume. Executed well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a portraiture that's never been done before, and I, I think I kind of want to take this and go with it. Go with it. <laughs> go with it.
yeah. refine it, <laughs> hopefully make something out of it. You were playing with the idea of alter ego and multiple personality. Uh, this is a unique approach to it, would you agree? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen, we originally started out with just having one side and the other side. Yeah. And you can see how it's morphed and changed in the complexity of the personalities that he created. I think it's awesome that you, even though Brooks just drills all technical shit into us, um, I think that it's great that you took a completely different approach and went just like above and beyond with it all. And it's really great. I was, I was, you, I mean, you told me about this from like day one. I was like, how is he going to play this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is going to be. You know, and you, and you did it. It, it's, it looks like a copy. You know, you did an awesome job. Uh, let's see, the skill set for sh switching over to CMYK and taking it to post-production was like yes. 214? Uh, yeah, uh, so when I was getting this printed, um, I didn't really have time for them to send me a, a proof. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I was on the phone with them and I was like, well, I need this like, you know, in the week, you know, like, what can we do? And then I started talking about, well, like, what do you guys use to printing? And, you know, obviously, I knew, you know, I knew they were going to convert to CMYK, but I was like, well, what, like, type of CMYK are you going to print under? Uh, so, you know, the lady's like, yeah, you know, let me pull up, like, Photoshop. Uh, and she, like, had me on the phone. She's like, yeah, this is, like, exactly, like, the settings that we use. And I was able to just convert these images. And I was like, you know, the most important thing is for the colors and everything to come out right. It's not technically art, you know, just more photographs. So she was able to kind of walk me through the process. And, you know, uh, they shot, you know, some uh, emails back with, like, their, you know, they had one print and show me, hey, is this what you want? I'm like, yeah, let's, let's go with it. And they got, got to me on time. So it was a... Uh, yeah, who knew? The only reason I'm bringing that up is because I know you guys sit through lectures and all sorts of different things going, I'm never going to use this again. And I'm sure that um, turning things into CMYK and press printing and all the rest of that stuff is like, never use it again. There are many things that you'll learn here that will make sense later on, uh, depending upon what direction you're going to. So, yeah, you have to look, sit through our lectures and enjoy it. <laughs> and take notes. All right, any other comments? Nice job. Okay, so uh, this is a wrap. Who would have thought?